What is going on everybody? My name is Danny. This is TechRage and today I'm going to be showing you guys a pretty neat application. It is a media center application called Stremio. Now it is in fact cross-platform so it supports Linux of course because that's, all, that's, what, that's what my videos are based on. Mac and Windows. Um, and there's also an Android application too but in order for you to download it you will have to go to their website which I will have in the description down below and download the APK file in order for you to download it because you cannot access it through the Play Store and yeah let's get straight into this guys so let me open up the website real fast and remember too I'll be leaving the links in the description so just keep that in mind I was reading an article there. So, this is it. Right, it's pretty neat. You can stream everything in HD quality. Uh, you can toggle um, subtitles through op the Open Subtitles website. Uh, you can, in fact, stream content. So, if you have an Apple TV, Chromecast, tablet, phones, smart TVs, you name it, you can do it here. Uh, you can import stuff from Facebook for those people who do that. Uh, for those people who have a pre-existing library of content, well, now you can add that local library to the Stremio application. So if you want to have it all nice and bundled together, well, you could do so there. Uh, yes, there are add-ons. So you can even broaden your library of content in the streaming application by adding these add-ons uh, some of these add-ons are pretty neat because uh, I'll show you here like film on TV it allows you to watch 300 TV channels live and I'll show you how that looks pretty nice um, yes you can watch YouTube videos straight through the application as well Vodo you can hook up that is another movie add-on here and Guidebox, as well as Netflix and uh, other, no, a few others. Uh, for those people who are wondering, yes, you can peer-to-peer -peer stream. And uh, for the most part, for, this application is in fact open source. So I will be leaving the link, the GitHub page down below. But uh, I was doing some digging and there are two components that are not open source. One of them being the way that the content is being torrented and um, something else oh some of the add-ons okay so for people who care about that like me now you know all right so this is the add-on right oh and one more thing too for the Linux users it, it already becomes <clears throat> it already bec ah, comes bundled in a dot deb file so all you have to do is download it launch it BAM there you go no no longer do you have to you know extract it through a tour ball and all the other jazz so it just works right so this is the movie section here now it has a pretty big library of content you see you have Doctor Strange uh, you have La La Land which just recently came out uh, Moana Suicide Squad you name it Assassin's Creed Deadpool all big major blockbuster movies you name it they have it here I'm gonna go to series and now you have a lot of the you know mainstream shows that are airing right now uh, the flash being one of my favorites supernatural which I don't know why is still airing it's 2005 my god uh, Big Bang Theory friends you name it they have just a big library of shows here available for you mr. robot which actually I should add to my favorites okay or library rather and I'll show you I'll show you how to do that in a sec I'll just showed you but I'll show you more about it rather channels here yes you this is the selection where you can view YouTube videos straight through the Streamio app TV channels now this works only through the film on add-on so you will have to add it after installing Streamio. okay and by the way it's for free 
uh, yeah, and that shows you the time slots of the show. So it's, it's pretty interesting, and they have quite a few big name channels such as BBC One, the Food Network, BBC News, RT News, and just quite a few others. The list just goes on and on and on and on, but I won't go into it that much. Uh, streaming content wise, I've tried UFC. I'm not a big fan of it, but I just tried to see how well it would stream. It works pretty good. It works pretty good. The quality is pretty acceptable. You know, so that's pretty cool. And also, you have categories here. So, depending on which category, I mean, which selection you're in, you know, you can just categorize it here. So, even through series, it goes through the YouTube add-on, and even through the live TV film on add-on as well. So I'm gonna go to board here. Now what this is, it's pretty much like a Netflix type of layout. So it just shows every add-on that you have there and then just shows everything within a line. So that's pretty cool. So if we go to library, now this is basically like a favorites category. So you can add shows, movies, YouTube channels, all here to your library now the reason why you might want to do this is because uh, for the shows that are still airing right now like the flash oh sorry about that like the flash well now you will be notified on the calendar section here when the next episode is airing so it is pretty freaking cool that is actually really cool and it even goes a step further so for those people who you know work you know and have you know use outlook or any other email client or for those people who just use email clients and the uh, and it supports dot ics files well now you can even add the selection that you have currently on the calendar and you can download it as a dot ics file and add it to those clients such as Outlook 2016, whatever. Um, yeah, and it will save directly to your calendar. So you have those updates on your calendar. And even say if you're at work, well, you can, you can do it there too. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So you see here, it gives you a brief description of uh, the shows that are airing this month, what date, time, date, date and uh, season and episode, I mean. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on right now. It's pretty neat and uh, one thing I like about this too is that if I were to go to and it also shows it here too so go to series the flash it'll even show it here for upcoming so that's pretty nice okay so uh, yes this is how the flash looks like it's pretty neat I like how they have the background here to give it a good appearance it gives you options of the cast uh, IMBD rating through the IMBD website, so that's pretty nice too. You can toggle these features on and off through the settings, so uh, if you don't like this, well, you can disable that. Um, yeah, I like how they just, it's a pretty neat layout here. You have the seasons listed at the top, followed by the episodes at the bottom. It's pretty nice. Let me show you one of these episodes. Okay, so. You see here, once you click on them, you'll have the option to choose through which form of streaming you want to view this content through. So uh, these are paid versions for the most part. You see you have iTunes, right? Say so if you want to pay for this episode through iTunes, you could do so, or Amazon, Voodoo, or even through the CW website, which is free here. Offline cash. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen this, but... Uh, interesting oh okay I think I know this is it okay uh, it's pretty pretty neat so now it's pretty it's kind of saved offline in a way because it's cached so um, yeah and I'll show you where you can adjust the caching so if you want to cache a lot or cache little you can do so uh, based on gigabytes, I'll show you that in a second. And also, the live streaming will be here. So, you see Netflix will be here. But, of course, you need to have a paid subscription in order for you to view it through Netflix. Yes, unfortunately, it does that. 
Um, but uh, hey, it's respectable at the same time. And then, uh, yeah, the Juan Carlos Torrance. I really, really suggest for you to add this add-on, and I'll show you where to add it, because this library is freaking huge. You'll find more often than not that whenever you select on an episode or, or a show or a movie, whichever one, Juan Carlos Torrance will most likely than not have the free edition there available for you. And the streaming is pretty neat. So you see him click on it. Oh, yeah, and there you go, it's working. So it's pretty nice, pretty fast. Okay, now in order for you to add the add-ons, all I have to do is go right here at the top. Click that little plus sign there next to the search bar. And now you'll be opened to this page here. Now there's quite a f there are a few add-ons here, unfortunately, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be focusing on broadening their extensions. You can add photos, which has more movies, Netflix, like I said. You can add subtitles, Twitch live streaming. For those people who watch Twitch videos, you can add this here. Guide box. Uh, yeah. So you can do that here and even popcorn time. But keep in mind too, when um, you're going through the you're going through which option to stream the content through, just make sure to note that popcorn time is listed as easy TV. Just uh, just a little thing there. I'm not really sure why they named it like that. I guess because it's smaller and in the way that they spell it out. I have no idea. That's just the way they did it. Never mind. Now another thing too I'm going to go through is the settings. So here you see once I click the settings option you'll have the ability to disable or enable add-ons here. So the YouTube add-on which is enabled by default. If you don't want it just uncheck it. All right now if I were to go back here go to channels you'll see that it's not working. But so I'm going to go re-enable it because it just looks nice there. Uh, yeah. And you can do that for the rest of the add-ons there too. Mm. Now if you go to the here, to the right side, you'll see you can sign up for their website. Now keep in mind here, once you launch the application, you do not need to have a login in order for you to use the application. All you have to do is at the bottom of the login, you'll see guest login. Just click guest and bam, you're going straight into the application. You don't need to sign up or anything like that. And you are not limited if you use the guest option. So don't worry about that. It works just fine. I've used it on the guest option. It works just fine too. I do not have a Stremio um, account. But for those people who do decide to make one, uh, I believe the benefits are that uh, it kind of carries over the calendar updates between your accounts. So if you decide to add this application onto another computer, well, now you can get those updates there without having to manually add all of these episodes, well, all of these, um, um, all the content to your library. Wow, it is too too late for me right now. Uh huh. So you go over here, you see you have the option to change the language of the application. You can decide to have it open on startup. For those people who want to use it as your primary application, well now you can do that there. Um, you can be a beta tester. So for those people who want to support the project and just test out the latest build, the unofficial build, well now you can do that there. And guys, I'm sorry for the noise back there. It's the damn heater. I think cries so bad. I freaking hate it. Uh, also, you can decide to use your default video player on your computer. So you don't have to use the built-in video player on Streamio if it doesn't suit you. You can always use the one that's on your computer. For me, I have VLC right now, so you can do VLC. I, it, I could be wrong, but... Um, it could be just that it also plays through VLC and not your default video program. Um, so you might need to install it if you want to use another video program instead of the built-in one for Shremio. So yeah, I could be wrong about that. 
Uh, yeah, you, so you have the options here, like it's shown on the website, to import from Facebook. So if there's, if there's content there, you can import it into the Streamio app. Uh, local disk, this is the option where you'll hook up your local library. Uh, subscribe to calendar. So this is where you'll be able to download the .ics file. So you see if I were to click there, it'll give me this link. So if I copy this link, uh, Control C, if I go to Firefox, okay, and paste that link there, you see now it'll pop this up here showing me to select my email client so that it can add it to the calendar or calendar that supports dot, dot ICS format but I do not have one so that's why it's not showing any uh, okay so I'm going to click settings here now you see here this is where you have the option to cache so this is pretty interesting because uh, initially, my understanding was that uh, this would help for seeding purposes. So if you want to, you know, pretty much be like a mini server, right, and caching the content onto your computer so that other people can stream through there, that it would work just like that. But uh, from what you just saw recently, uh, what it does actually is that if you see an episode or it just so happened to buffer through you know the whole entire video and it was able to have it there and set ready for you so that there's no uh, there's no buffering whatsoever then you can actually decide to cache cache it offline or, or I guess it caches it offline for you but you have the option to note to not cache it at all so that it doesn't do that but uh, yeah by default it'll have it enabled at 2 gigs uh, you can go as high as the infinity so if for those people who watch content religiously and want to have it offline, well, there you go. Now you have that option. And uh, guys, that's really it. Uh, track scroll scrolling, I'm not an expert of that. I have no idea what that does. So I'm not going to talk about it as if I do. <laughs> and that's really it, guys. It's pretty neat. Works great. Works fast. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. You know, I, I mean, I've been using it, testing it out, and it just works pretty good. It looks like it's a... Uh, pretty good alternative to popcorn time uh, if not better than popcorn time really uh, yeah guys so I really suggest for you guys to check this out and just another tip I'm just filled with tips um, when you're downloading this for Windows just keep in mind to go through custom installation just make sure that you know you see what it's going to install because uh, I believe in the past people have install installed it through the express installer and it would change your default search engine of your of your browser so uh, you know hey when programs do stuff like that so just keep that in mind you know just keep that in mind all right guys so that's really it if you like this video please like if you have any questions please comment down below i'll try my best to answer it for you uh share the video you know share it with your friends knowledge is power and uh yeah kind of following that whole open source mentality so yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace